Hey there guys, I'm Nimbled K. Welcome to a Hearthstone episode where we are going to take a look at the new cards and review them. The new expansion. Oh yeah. Uh, where's... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, cards. Cards. We want to see cards. We already know a little bit about these cards. Let's see what else we can learn and what we can theorize. Okay, the Le I'm just gonna call it the League of Shadows. I know it's the Rise of Shadows, but I'm just gonna call it the League of Shadows. Okay, we got that out of the way. So let's take a look. View all cards in the way that they were. Uh, yeah, we don't care about... Those are things that are gonna come for us to see in the future. Uh... Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So first card, first card that was presented to us is Arch Villain Rafam. So this is one of the bad guys, one of the bad boys, one of the main protagonists of this expansion. This is a Warlock Legendary, so it is a Warlock card. It's only going to be in Warlock unless you have some other means of acquiring legendary minions. It is not a hero legendary card, so it doesn't replace your hero and does something else. It's a legendary minion, okay? Okay, we got that out of the way. Let's talk about what Rafam does and what his stats are. Oh, boy. 7 mana, 7, 8. Okay, that's not too bad. And it has taunt. So just by that, a 7 mana 7 8 taunt is not that bad. It's not a 7 mana 8 8 or a 4 12 or whatever, you know, big healthy minions used to have. And I'm glad I'm I'm liking I'm liking this. I'm liking what I'm seeing is that Blizzard is implementing in this new expansion or you know this new year rotation. Uh, not too much like really broken aggro things and not too many like high value broken stuff like okay i'm just gonna play this and it negates everything else that you're trying to do that said we don't know what the entire expansion is going to be like and how it's gonna function so on first glance okay i i'd, I'd say it's good we're i'm hoping we're not gonna see a, an otk meta and a really fast meta and it's gonna be more mid-rangey control and nice little you know stupid meme decks that are gonna pop up you know around the corner which are just gonna be surprising and you know a fresh breath of air in hearthstone uh battle cry Replace your hand and deck with legendary minions. Now that is a strong battle cry. It'll definitely make for some interesting games. One, for the reason that legendaries are like, let's say 90% really good. Really powerful. Huge minions. Most of them are like really huge impactful minions that do impactful things. Uh, getting random legendary minions, so minions, you cannot get hero cards, so you can't get a Shaman, Hagatha, hero card or something like that, only minions. But you can get other legendary minions from other classes as well, so keep that in mind. That can already be broken in certain things, because you might end up having two or three or four pieces that actually worked it together, that shouldn't that are in four different classes and they have like insane synergies but those are not really that reliable on you know you're, it's not like oh i'm just gonna play this and then i'm gonna get those things and i'm gonna do that combo it's not something that you can play around and it's not gonna be something that's consistent that said we already know this effect we had it uh, through Elise, which give you gave you the map to the Golden Monkey, and then you played the Golden Monkey, which transformed your hand and deck. So that was a long-term investment. This one is basically just drawing the card and being able to play it. You can't play it that fast, you know, 
as Elise on turn 4, but Elise was also something that you would have to play in multiple turns. So it's kind of like the same thing. As long as you have this as fast as possible, you can play it and you're gonna have the effect. You're not gonna have to wait a whole lot longer. So yeah, I definitely think this is a cool card. It's definitely gonna be implemented in uh, more control style um, decks of Warlock. Uh, if they're still gonna be like OTK Warlock and I'm talking about Mechathune, uh, this card is not gonna see the cut because it's going to replace your Mechathune and not be as consistent then because you're trying to do a specific thing other than that if you're not zoo even zoo might run this one it's one legendary minion that if you lose your tempo and you play against something that's controlling you and you can't get ahead on board and you know start doing the chip damage and the rush down uh, you can just play rough arm and just replace your entire deck and change the entire gameplay that you had thus you know keeping up with the control meta or whatever it's gonna be so this might actually be a really good card in you know let's say zoo kind zoo kind of decks to mid-rangey decks okay uh, that, that sounds cool let's see next we have forbidden words it's a zero mana cost uh, priest spell Spend all your mana, destroy a minion with that much attack or less. So effectively, this is one of the spells that Priest is going to have in each deck that they're going to play from now on. It's because it's really, uh, really viable against anything, right? If something has 4 attack, and we all, all know that 4 attack is like the sweet spot to play, you know, against priests. That's the, the one number that priest struggles against. Anything below that or above that, they have answers for that. But the 4 attack, they can't deal with it. Now, you can, because it says destroy a minion with that much attack, so you need to have at least 4 mana. And you can destroy anything that has four attack or less so even if you have like five mana or whatever it's not the same it's not like saying oh you only need to destroy a minion with five attack now it says or less so really cool and you know the lower the attack value the lower the cost for the card so that can also be really really interesting so yeah, I'm definitely seeing two of these in each of the priests, each of the priests from now on until, you know, rotation. And that's going to take a while. Or nerf, or nerf, depending, depending, or nerf. I know you, Blizzard. You've gotten good. You've gotten good this past year with nerfs and pounding things into the ground making things more playable or unplayable or you know better quality of life for us players so yeah we'll see how this thing works next we have evil miscreant a three mana one five okay the stats are like weird they're not totally bad but also not exceptionally good it's also a combo card, so that means it's effectively more than three mana, at least four. Or if you play a, a zero cost uh, spell, uh, then it's effectively three mana, but it's worth two cards. But you get two cards back, and we all saw that the lackeys are really powerful. Okay, lackeys are one drops there's five of them I believe five or six of them they each do separate things they're not entirely broken but you know a one drop that summons a, a two drop or a one drop that uh, has a uh, evolve effect on one of your minions you know it's kind of like attaching specific cards 
to a one mana one one. And that's that's essentially a, a lackey. So these are gonna be powerful. Um, you know, the stats for this minion, uh, I think they're great for what he does because effectively, if lackeys are good, even if this thing would be a three mana one one get two cards, because effectively that's what it does. It's a three mana one one get two cards to one cost cards that do something specific. So I think depending, depending, and I'm, you know, really pointing it out that depending on the lackeys, how good the lackeys are going to be is going to determine how good cards that give you lackeys are going to be. Regardless of, of, of course, you know, stats matter. So if this would be a three mana, three, four, which is like godsend as, you know, far as three drops go, that would be insane. That would probably be, be overpowered and would be like a no brainer for each and every rogue because you get added value, you have best stats and whatnot. So I can see, I can see the, the reasoning behind the stats. Um, doesn't die as fast, so it's still a good minion. Sticks around on the board, helps you do a little bit more chip damage, helps you have a target for those lackeys, you know, in evolving it. You can evolve this one into a four drop after attacking or, you know, chipping in a minion, taking a trade, because you also have a weapon, you know, you have your dagger as a rogue. So that's kind of cool. Definitely a interesting card. Like I said, really depends on how well the lackeys are going to be and what kind of support we're going to get, you know, as the expansion unfolds. Next we have Hagatha's Scheme. So this is the first Scheme card, a spell for Shaman that has been revealed. It is a 5 mana spell and it deals 1 damage to all minions. Now, schemes upgrade each turn. They are in your hand, so that means every time it is your turn. So when you draw this card, it's already your turn. It's not gonna upgrade itself immediately. You, you draw the card or you have it in your opening hand. Let's say, whatever, okay? You pass your turn, something happens, your opponent plays, then they pass the turn back to you. That is when your turn starts and the upgrade takes effect. Each turn doesn't really mean each turn. Each of your turns, okay? Let's just say it like that. So every time it is your turn, on start of turn, they could have just said it on start of turn, upgrade each turn. I don't know, whatever. Words, words mean a lot of things and can be juggled around, okay? So that means, one time, it deals only one damage. You draw it and you want to play it, you're only going to deal one damage to all of the minions, including your own. You keep, for the upcoming turn, you can deal two damage. The more you keep it, you're going to be able to do up to, I don't know, if you're going to go for 30 turns, you're going to do 30 damage to the entire board. I don't know if that's something you might want to do. That seems a little bit overkill. But it's a big ass board clear for shamans. Okay, so that keep that in mind. Every time you play against shamans and you're going to build, I'm gonna build my board up, and you always need to take account for. Okay, I spent one turn with this board. That means he can now maybe do one, two, three damage. The more I go. Do I want to go wide on the board? Is he going to be able to clear it now? Does he not have it? Does he have it in his hand? Is it going to do 7 damage to everything? Can I play a big minion now? You know, it's definitely going to be interesting to see how people are going to play more around this card than with it. Because with it, you have the option, you see it, you see what's going to come, and then you, you adjust accordingly. But playing against it, you don't know, one, if the opponent has it in his hand. Secondly, 
for how long did he have it already in his hand? How much damage is he going to do? Those are interesting things. Next we have the Forest Aid. Okay, these are twin spells. Twin spells are going to be awarded to a, you know, I, I believe four of the specific classes. This one is for Druid. It is a eight mana spell. It's kind of costly, kind of costly. I don't remember necessarily now if Spiteful Summoner is going to rotate out. I believe it is. However, don't quote me on that, or do put in the comment section below. Ha <laughs> um, But then again, it is a big spell um, that I don't know if it's necessarily good. Eight mana, summon five, two, two, three ants. I mean, it's essentially eight mana do nothing. Because you're not have you're not giving them rush or charge or taunt on that turn. You can't really buff them in any way, shape, or form because you don't have the necessary mana, because you're already paying eight mana for the minions themselves. Now stats wise, uh, five two twos is essentially ten ten. Eight mana ten ten, eh, okay. Divided into five bodies. Okay, I can see that. Plus, it gives you another spell so you can replay the spell yet once more. That's the twin spell effect. So every spell that has the twin spell effect effectively does one thing. You play the spell, the spell resolves, and then you get a copy of the spell but without the twin spell effect on it. So when you play the fourth aid, you're gonna summon five two two three ants, and then you're going to get an eight mana forest aid spell into your hand that says summon five two two three ants. When you play that one, nothing else happens, only the summoning of the five two two three ants. And that's a lot of three ants that I said already. Okay. Three ant synergy might be a thing if we get more. You know, Druid's going to go in probably into that direction because they're going to start having more, you know, synergy-based things around 3 ants. I kind of like it that they're going this way. I, I would like to see more of the sprites as well. So I would like to see more 3 ants, more sprites. And I would actually like to see bigger 3 ants, you know, bigger 3 ant minions, not just the normal 2-2s, two if that makes any sense. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Blizzard, we're waiting. We're waiting. Yeah, my thoughts on this card? It's not that good. It's not going to be that good. Unless we have something that maybe helps you cast spells for cheaper or cast spells faster in order to get more things on the board faster. I, I don't know. Or, you know, Spiteful Summoner effects. Something like that. Grand Archivist, yeah, the Grand Archivist might help you, so you can you slam this down. Don't know how that works with the Grand Archivist. I don't know if, if Twin Spell activates on Summoned Cast, I guess, or Self Cast. We'll just have to see. Effectively, it should, it should do that, but you never know. Next, we have Chef Nomi. Okay, Chef Nomi is a neutral legendary. It is a 7 mana 6 6, so already stat wise, it's not that great. It, it's not that great, okay? 7 mana for a 6 6, it's not that great. Battle Cry. Okay, it's a legendary minion, so it should do something awesome. Let's see what that thing is. Uh, Battle Cry. If your deck is empty, okay, now that's a big if and requirement. Summon 6. Six sixes, Grease Fire Elementals. Okay, so Elemental Synergy. Okay, one. Uh, so you fill the board with seven six six minions. One of them is Chef Nomi, and the other ones are the six six Elementals. Uh, however, it doesn't have 
taunt or anything like that. So if you're playing it and you're behind against a huge board, you're still going to get that damage in. So it doesn't help you, it doesn't save you, it doesn't offer you protection on the turn you play it in. Uh, now granted it is 7 mana so you can still do something besides that but it requires to be it requires you to be in the really late stage of the game where your deck is empty you either have some possibilities of emptying your deck if it's something you want to do I would suggest going with Mechathune and just like instantly win the game which most people are going to probably do if they're gonna go that route. Would you play Chef Nomi in that deck as well? Why would you why would you you know jinx or curse your win condition because they can just ignore Chef Nomi and kill you? But it's a nice interesting minion to have. We might see him played through random legendary you know getting random legendaries so random legendary summoning or not summoning when it's added to your hand i don't know how that con conjuring okay let's call it conjuring of cards okay we might see some plays with chef nomi but i don't see specific decks built around Chef Nomi. That said, I don't think this is going to be like one of the greatest cards ever. You're not going to feel that bad if you have it. If you play like a mid-range control deck, I guess, Warrior might use it. Other than that, I don't know. I'm curious to see. Next we have Caligo. Okay, I'm going to butcher his name. Caligos. Yeah, we're just going to go with a nice fluent speech pattern. Caligos. 10 mana, 412. 10 mana. Okay, so they're seeing something interesting here. That big big legendary minions, you play it and that's it. You do what the legendary minion says and that's it. No extra turn, no, no extra mana, no shenanigans, no nothing. However, shenanigans are tied to this uh, beautiful majestic dragon and he says your first spell each turn, so each turn, it's an ongoing effect, every turn, on turn start basically, the first spell you cast is zero. Battle cry, discovery spell, so you're, you know, given three options, you can discover the spell, choose it and then if it's still the first spell that you're gonna play joy you can just play it sorry about that my cat was like doing something stupid i don't know what okay uh that said dragon cool okay everyone in the lore world of warcraft is going like ah, bonkers about it i don't know that much lore about world of warcraft but i do like World of Warcraft and Hearthstone and you know the universe so I think it's cool definitely cool uh, it's definitely gonna be a strong strong legendary and it's definitely gonna find its place in a control uh, style mage deck uh, now that we don't have Frostless Jaina it's gonna be interesting to see how well control decks are going to work for mage specifically what their win condition might be so excuse me so yeah i'm really curious to see how how things are gonna go for mage and all of the classes to be honest really curious i like this card i think it's gonna be a great card uh i mean it is a great card cool next we have a neutral uh, minion a three mana three four spell ward jeweler Battle cry, your hero can't be targeted by spells or hero powers until your next turn. Okay, now it's effectively giving you a sort of immune to... Well, it says it can't. you can't be targeted by spells. 
so only spells that are you know target spells so no direct damage spells no fireballs no pyroblasts no lava burst no shocks no nothing okay those are not gonna go to your face or whatever else we're going to get you know in this expansion however okay hero powers as well so no steady shot no I don't know is it steady no pings no nothing okay cool not too many hero powers can actually hurt you it's only two or three um, Druid can still hit you from what I believe because it's not his hero power that attacks you it's his face so he's attacking you directly that is a direct attack and you are not immune to that uh, you know any weapon attack can still go forth and damage you and also it says spells that target your hero so you're not immune to mind blast because mind blast says don't target it just says deal five damage to the enemy hero you cast the spell you don't target the hero it, you, it just does it so you're still going to die to a OTK combo that involves Maligos, 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 Mind Blast, Mind Blast, Mind Blast, Mind Blast, or something on the lines like that. You're still going to die to that, regardless of this. However, it still has its usefulness, uh, probably good in Arena, I believe, and stats are good. So the stats, you know, make up for having maybe a not so great battle cry. Uh, okay, those were my thoughts on uh, Spell War Jeweler. It all depends on what kind of spells people are going to run. If we're going to have like really aggressive things that target you specifically, sure, you're going to play one or two of these in your deck uh, to counter that specific, you know, meta, I guess. Other than that, probably not. You're probably going to find something better that suits your deck needs more and not trying to counter some random thing that might or might not occur. Okay, next we have Togwoggle's Scheme. And yes, we are going a little bit uh, deeper into these cards, but these are the cards nonetheless. So yeah, let's uh, let's see. Togwoggle's Scheme. Uh, this is a rogue spell. It's a schema. <laughs> okay, uh, one mana. Choose a minion, shuffle one copy of it into your deck. Upgrades each turn. We already talked about the mechanics, so we know that the longer this is in your hand, it's basically a one mana, shuffle an infinite amount of minions of the same type into your deck. That can have an unending, you know, plethora, I don't know, gazillion uses with the amount of minions because it, it doesn't say friendly minions so it's not specific to you know doing a specific deck and revolving around it you can just have these things and you know play out your deck whatever play maybe Myra's unstable evolution draw your entire deck have a full hand and then just put a specific minion like a lich king or whatever your opponent has maybe something like really valuable and then you just put a lot of that specific minion into your deck it's gonna be consistent you're gonna draw each and every turn the same really annoying thing to deal with you know the same minion you're gonna draw it over and over and over and over again uh, it also works like with pogo hoppers you're gonna get an infinite amount of giant huge dudes bunnies yeah I think this card is gonna be good. You might need more survivability. You, you can put taunts in your deck. You can put healing minions, damage minion, rush minions, anything. Okay. I can't talk enough about this card. This card is gonna be good. I spit. I spit on myself. That's how good this card is gonna be. Okay. Next we have. Swamp Queen Hagatha. So this is the another legendary minion for 
Shaman, Shaman class. Okay, seven mana. We saw that Rafam was also seven mana. <coughs> Curious to see if all of them are gonna be seven mana, which is kind of weird that they chose with seven. Okay, seven mana, five, five. Stats are crap. Crap. Okay, seven mana, five, five doesn't really do anything. Let's see what the battle cry is. Battle cry, add a five, five horror to your hand. Teach it two shaman spells. Okay, so the horror, I think it's an elemental. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't seen the horror. I have heard some things about it. So that's gonna be a horror, a card, a five mana, five, five minion. And when you get it, you're gonna be presented with two discover spell mechanics the first discover spell can either be targeted spell or you know i'm gonna call it aoe effect spell something that you know influences the board state like bloodlust you know uh, lightning storm volcano stuff like that and then the second option is always going to be something that you don't target specifically and it's just a random spell that occurs okay when you play that minion they're gonna go in the same order and if you have a targeted spell such as lightning bolt for say and then lightning storm you play the minion you choose a minion or you know the hero that you want to zap and then the lightning storm occurs as well um, it's an interesting card for having also Shudderwalk because Shudderwalk, when you play Shudderwalk, one, it's going to give you a 5-5 five, five horror to your hand. I don't know how Shudderwalk is going to work if Shudderwalk does that, if you're going to have to choose uh, for the horror again or if Shudderwalk is actually going to choose two random spells basically out of choosing. Um, you know the minion for you and then it's also going to utilize the battle cry of your horror that you played previously so if you did the whole lightning bolt and bloodlust let's say shudderwalk is going to do the lightning bolt and also bloodlust as well plus giving you another you know five five shadow horror whatever so it's kind of strong and in the same time it is not really that strong because you're sacrificing seven mana for a five five that does nothing on the first turn then you get to play your horror that does something completely random so it's not something that you can a hundred percent rely on or you know build your deck around specific spells or specific niche things it's always going to be random so yeah Okay, you know, you can see the value going a little bit down on that. It might have value in the long run, uh, and it's definitely going to help you out of some tight situations where you normally maybe wouldn't have had the answers for them. But it's kind of cool. I like it. It gives you more options for hexes and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. Uh, I, I, I believe maybe in a more control style shaman, which I don't. I don't really see a lot of those. Shaman has has a ten, tendency to be more aggressive. But yeah, uh, curious to see how things are going to work for Hagatha. And how she's going to get along with Hagatha. No puns intended. Next we have Oblivatron. So this is a legendary minion for Hunter. So this is the good guys. And we already saw one of the legendary minions for mages so that's one of the good guys as well good girl good guy whatever um six mana three four mech okay not that great not that great stats wise also has death rattle so it not, doesn't do something immediately unless you can trigger its death rattle in a certain way then yes uh, summon a mech from your hand and trigger its death rattle effect now we are really curious to see we are curious okay we are all curious we're really curious to see 
if this thing pulls out Mechathune, triggers Mechathune, and if Mechathune triggers without dying, if he wins you the game, right? Because usually you have to kill Mechathune to trigger its effect. I believe that it's not gonna work because Mechathune is still gonna be on the board and he counts as a minion. But maybe he doesn't count himself? Question mark? I don't know. Questions and answered. You know, keep on watching YouTube. You're definitely gonna see that pulled off and we're gonna know. I'm talking about probably my hero and inspirational streamer. This guy's toast. That guy's insane, man. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Uh, summon a mech from your hand and trigger its death row effect. So it only works with mechs. Not too many mechs have that important death rattles. Uh, so you can probably summon other mechs that have death rattles that summon other mechs. So you can go a little bit wide. So if you play a six mana, three, four, and if they deal with it, you're presented on the next turn with a couple of smaller mechs and you might have mech synergies so mech mech hunter might be a thing if this thing works uh, we're losing a lot of the death rattle packages but we might get new death rattle that are more incentive more incentive for us to play them i don't know i don't know uh this one looks weak or weaker on first glance without seeing like the whole package so yeah it's kind of weak right now it needs support to be better or good uh, Lazarus La Lazul's Lazarus what Lazul's scheme so this is the scheme for priests it's a zero mana cost uh, spell reduce the attack of an enemy minion by one until your next turn so the more you keep it you can make almost any minion down to zero attack great value for stealing minions with cabal shadow priest or just you know killing any minion with the other zero cost spell so you just spend all of your mana do whatever and then you play Lazarus scheme reduce the attack to zero and then you play the zero cost uh, card Shh, you're dead zero cost zero attack oh okay those things match zero and zero zero equals zero okay you're dead and you got a big board or whatever it is that you did you get back the tempo sure it's like a three or four uh, card combo you know for whatever it is that you're playing but it works and nothing is safe against you know no minion is safe against priest stealing it we already know that in the late game they can mind control stuff, so we might see another bur burglar style priest meta where they just, yeah, I'll take that, yeah, I'll take that, yeah, I'll also take that from you. Yeah, oh, oh, cool, that that's a nice minion. I'll take that. Oh, you don't have life. Oh, oh, you're dead. Oh, GG. Yeah. Okay. Uh. I think that was it we're back to archvillain Rafan. thank you guys for watching this was part one i know it was a little bit a longer one i am late late to the run however we're still in it so even though you might already know all of these things hope i gave you a little bit of you know incentive to what am i trying to say not incentive insight Hopefully I gave you a little bit of insight, you know, that maybe you haven't heard before or haven't thought of. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys 
in the next one which is gonna be pretty soon because Blizzard is spewing out these cards like ooh, 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 ooh. yeah I like it see you guys next time